All right, Nick, taking a look here uh, at your swing. And uh, overall, it's, it's just a real good move. You've got a really good swing that I think is going to carry you, you know, a long way playing this game. Um, you've got good rhythm. You're loose. You're fluid. You attack the ball. Okay, there, there's a lot of loose. Uh, you know, I like the way you kind of you're loose with your hands and you're loose and fluid. Um, it's a good it's an outstanding move with the baseball. When uh when I take a look at the swing, uh and when you work on it, you should really focus on three areas. Your back arm, which is, you know, really going to control where the bat goes and 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 how the barrel is thrown at the ball. So that back arm kind of controls where the bat's going. In other words, where the barrel's going. Okay? The back arm, the back leg, and then uh we also want to take a look at the at the front side so those are your three main areas again we want to we want to look at how the back arms moving how the back leg is doing and what the front side is doing and it's your job really to to perfect what the back arm is doing perfect how and when the back leg moves and perfect what the front side is doing and so you know overall your your pattern is very good um Okay, Nick, let's look first um, at what the back leg is doing. Again, back leg, back arm, front side. Let's see how your uh, your back leg is matching up. Okay, again, the, 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 the primary thing that the back leg has to do is, you know, it's got to load up, and that happens when you lift your foot, okay, and then it's got to press sideways. It's going gonna, it's gonna to shift weight into and against that front side, okay? So it's got to load and then unload into that front side in a, in a sideways uh, pressing action, okay? If you look here at you and Manny, when the front heel drops, you know, you've, you've finished your stride, okay, the front, front heel is down, your feet are still pointing straight ahead. They're, you know, you're not trying to turn um, as you finish your stride, again. So that back leg is pushing sideways into that front side. Okay, very similar there the way you're doing it. So the overall main goal of the back leg, your back leg looks really good. I do think, Nick, your biggest uh, thing is you need to be aware of what that back leg is supposed to do. You've got to load it and then press sideways to unload it, okay, into that front side. And as we scroll through, you can see after the heel drops, after the heel drops, the, uh, the front leg works against the ground and opens that hip from the front here so again we're square when the heel lands okay that front leg is working against the ground and those hips open as that front leg is working to open them okay and so we're not trying to spin our hips open from the back we just press sideways into the front and then our hips open from the front as we hit behind that front side okay so so this back leg it's doing is doing its job of of loading and pressing sideways into and against the front side. Okay? So so the overall pattern is good. Um the you know what what it's the main purpose is good. I do think again you need to be aware of that so that you can make it even better. Okay? One thing with the back foot that we that we need to work on. Again, I like how you're loose and relaxed. I think that's a good thing. But look how much your back foot is kind of moving there as you're getting ready. And that kind of starts your kind of your loading process, Nick, but I I don't think we want that much sliding going on with that back foot. We really want that back foot to kind of be settled in, okay? As we press forward. Okay? If you look down here, you can kind of see Again, you, you know, you get it going there, and then you're kind of losing some ground with it on this particular swing. Okay, see how it's working back against you? You know, I think we need to get that back foot, you know, dug in a little more and just prepared to uh, load and press sideways. Okay, there's just a little too much, really kind of losing ground there. You know, you're kind of slipping a little. You know, here's another one. Again, you know, you keep all the rhythm and the looseness. Don't change any of that. Um, but like here, look, look at that toe slide out from under you, you know, we kind of, kind of slip in there. So 
on this swing, you, you kind of get it settled in. It doesn't slide on you. You know, you get a good, nice sideways press into that front side. You know, that, that foot's anchored in there pretty good um, as it presses sideways. But uh, I would calm down this stuff, how that, that foot is twisting back there. Stay relaxed and loose, but I'd try to get rid of some of that. Okay, um, but again, you know, you, you kind of want to be aware of this back knee, how it presses sideways to put that foot down. There's, you know, the, the back knee is responsible for putting down the foot. You don't want to feel like you have to put the foot down. You want to feel like, you know, the back leg loads and it presses sideways to drop the heel. And you do a real good job there. You know, that back knee pressing sideways, that's the first thing to attack the ball. You know, look at Manny there. The back knee is fired sideways, but the hands are still back. You know, the shoulder's back. Everything looks good there. So, um, again, back leg loads, presses sideways to put that heel down. Staying with the back leg here, Nick, you really want to kind of put the back leg in control of your footwork, meaning you really want to feel like the back leg pulls up the front foot and then the back leg puts it down. Okay, and again, that's just kind of mentally, you know, putting the back leg in charge of that stride. Okay, you're already doing some good things with your with your back leg, and your footwork looks good. But I think becoming mentally aware of it is the way you're going to um, get better at it. Okay, um, if you notice here, you can see Manny really, you know, he loads a lot sooner than you are. I think you're loading a little late. The only rule that we have here, Nick, is that. You really want to go back before release. And generally that means we want to feel that front foot start to pull up right as that pitcher, uh, right before he's letting go of the ball. So just make sure in the tunnels that you kind of feel that back leg pull that front foot up before the pitcher lets go of the ball. It's right before he lets go. Okay, we don't, we don't want to feel like we're in a rush with our footwork. We want our feet to feel slow. And we want that uh, that back leg to load before release. You got to go back before release. You might be rushing things there just a little bit. But again, look how nice you're, you know, both of you are in the same position here. Manny's off of that back foot. You can see as he presses sideways, you know, he's off of that back, but he stays behind that front side. Okay, so we get we get off of the back side but we hit behind that front side. Okay? If you look at your back side, you know, you can see that's that's pretty good. There's That's about what you want from your back foot. There's very little, if any, weight on that back foot. You know, once that heel drives, we press into that front side, and we hit behind. We drive off of the back side. We hit behind that front side. Again, he's got a little more tilt, a little more lean uh, through here. You might want to feel a little bit more tilt of the shoulders and a little less opening uh, and turning of the shoulders. More tilt, less turn. You can see here, you know, his chest a little bit more on the ball, your chest a little bit more out towards the pitcher there. 